What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. Today we're doing what I eat in a week post workout meal edition. I'm pretty stoked about this video. I was gonna do this for my pre-workout meal, like what I eat before I work out. It would have been the same thing every day because can you just guess what that meal is? Drum roll please. My morning oatmeal, okay? That's what I have every single morning. And you know what? It's the same thing every day and I ain't complaining about it. The attitude, wow, Britt. They are all very quick, very simple, very easy meals. These are all under 10 minutes because yo girl, what am I? What am I? I'm a mother. And you wanna know what mothers don't have? They don't have time. We don't have time. We want whole nutrient dense foods, but we ain't got time to be cooking all day, every day in the kitchen, okay? Whether you're a girl on the go, whether you're a mom, whether you're working, whether you're at school, whether you're at home, whatever you're doing, these should be doable for you. Coming in at number one, my pesto chicken sandwich. This is chef's kiss. One of the best recipes I've made, period. I have included this on what I eat in a day, so some of you might have even seen this recipe already. If you know, you know. And if you follow me on Instagram, you know I eat this all the time. So let's get to it. Okay, guys, I legit made a store run to Trader Joe's last night. Roll the clip. We're here with the fam. Say what's up, fam. Say hi, Vinny. Hello. Vinny, did you get your lollipop? Lollipop. Four ingredients, you're gonna need ciabatta rolls. This is my favorite, okay? Next is pesto, you can use any pesto. I like Trader Joe's pesto. To make your life 10 times easier, I just get one of these cases of chicken. I also have like uncooked chicken that I make myself where that is much more affordable and realistic, but I do like to grab at least one package a week of pre-cooked chicken. That way it is so much easier to make quick lunches and recipes where I know I'm getting in protein because I'm not gonna cook a raw chicken breast for lunch. That is so unrealistic for me. So I'm gonna spend a little bit extra money and get something like this, a rotisserie chicken from the store, whatever floats your boat. You can also get deli meat. Deli meat's really an awesome option too. But for me, I know realistically, like if I want more protein, if I want chicken in my sandwich for lunch or chicken, pita bread or a pizza with chicken on it. Like it's so nice to have meal prepped or pre-cooked chicken already just to throw in and get the job done. I also got arugula. I love arugula, especially in this sandwich. It is fantastic. I also love to put this on pizza. So definitely got arugula, mozzarella, fantastic. And then also I added tomatoes into the sandwich. Last thing is I love balsamic vinegar. So I also add this onto it. They also have like this glaze at Trader Joe's. Some people swear by this and love this. This is a little bit thicker, a little bit sweeter. I think it even has some sugar in it. Whereas this is just the vinegar. I'm a vinegar gal. Like I love my salt and vinegar chips. Also, fresh basil. So first things first, we're just gonna toast our ciabatta bread. Next up, I'm gonna warm up some of this chicken on a plate in the microwave. You can have this cold. I like it a little bit warm. It just adds like the warmth of the toastiness of the bread and then having the fresh cheese and vegetables. It's good. So I like to warm this up. And the rest of this I'm just gonna put in a Tupperware. Good to go in the fridge. Now I'm just gonna grab a cutting board and cut the cheese. And if you're super lazy like me, you can even cut this on a plate. Sometimes I'll do that. I honestly really only like a couple slices, maybe two to three, but Awesome. Now I'm gonna cut up a tomato. These seriously look so pretty. Gonna give it a wash, because we wash our fruits and veggies. I'm just gonna do a couple slices of the tomato. My arugula is already washed, so I don't have to worry about that. I'm just gonna open it up, and now it's time to assemble, you guys. So I'm gonna start by putting pesto on half of, or each of the bread. Next up, I like to layer on the cheese to one side. Then I'm gonna add the tomato. I love it, it's gotta be covered in tomato. And then I'm gonna add the chicken on top of that. I'm gonna add some balsamic on the chicken side as well as this side, I like a lot, so. <laughs> I also swear adding salt and pepper makes it taste better. Just like a little bit more flavor, salt brings out the flavor of everything. And then arugula. That is a thick sandwich. Okay, you guys, now we gotta put it together. It's so much easier to eat when it's cut in half because the middle is the best part. You know what I mean? So like, we should eat that first. Oh, look at this, you guys. 
Okay, let's give it a bite. It's so good. Every time. It never misses. And I think it's because it has so many layers of flavor too. Mm. It is a little bit messy. I'll be honest. Let's go. I am sandwich queen. This is the best sandwich. And I'm gonna finish this, okay? And I'll catch back up with you later. <laughs> Next up, I'm making a veggie egg scramble with some sourdough toast and a green smoothie. This is one of my all-time favorites. It is such a staple. It is a go-to that I'm always having because it is super quick and easy. I melt a little bit of butter in the pan and then I'm adding chopped up tomato, red pepper, and spinach. Now I'm just mixing two eggs with some egg whites and then I'm going to mix that into the pan. I just like my veggies to get cooked down a lot before adding the eggs and I love the combination of tomatoes, bell peppers, peppers and spinach with the eggs. I also, of course, season with salt and pepper and make the perfect veggie scramble. Now I'm just adding on a whole piece of sourdough toast and I just like it with butter, pretty plain, but it's absolutely delicious. I love sourdough bread and such a staple. Look how happy I am. Dude, truly, if you follow me on Instagram, you see me eat this all the time. It's so freaking fire. Yeah. Part two of this delicious meal is my green smoothie. Okay, I've perfected the green smoothie. Don't you worry about it. First of all, you need frozen strawberries, frozen pineapple, and two handfuls of spinach. I freeze mine so it never goes bad. And then get some Greek yogurt in there. This is 15 grams of protein. Are you kidding me? I'm drinking protein without it being a protein shake. Let's go. And then I add orange juice, blend it all together, and this is absolutely delicious. I think the orange juice is what makes it so much better. And there's always a little bit left over so Vinny can enjoy some too. We love that. Next up are my breakfast tacos. Again, another staple, one of my all-time favorites and go-to. So I love to start the potatoes and peppers because those take a little bit longer to cook down. And I like to season them with a little bit of garlic salt and pepper. And then I'm just cooking off the tortillas. These are the Siete almond flour tortillas. They are the goat. You cannot find a better tortilla in my opinion. I absolutely love them and I crave them. They're so delicious. So yeah, I'm making three eggs. I whipped that up in my little bowl. So once the potatoes and peppers are cooked, I pull them off to the side because I can split that into two or three meals. And then I'm just gonna cook the eggs separate. So I add a little bit of butter and then I'm gonna just scramble my eggs and assemble the taco with the potatoes, peppers, eggs, and then I like to top it with cheese and salsa. What's up you guys? I just got back from the gym. I did shoulders, abs, and a little bit of cardio, more like sprints. It really wasn't that much cardio. Okay, so for today's post-workout meal, I think I'm just gonna make some salmon. I always do it with roasted vegetables and rice, but I wanna try a different like veggie summery salad. Put something else on YouTube because I'm a creature of habit, right? My same behaviors and I make the same stuff a lot. So I wanna try to mix it up, make something fun. That's Vinny banging his cup on my very nice TV stand. Let's get to cooking. Okay, you guys, you can use fresh or frozen salmon. Sometimes frozen is so easy, so you can even give this a quick little thaw before you head to the gym, or if not, put it in some warm water and it'll get it going really quickly. So I just season that with lemon pepper, salt, garlic salt, and a little bit of butter, and I'm popping it in the oven at 425 for between 12 to 14 minutes, just to make sure it's up to temp. I use my thermometer. Now I'm gonna be peeling and chopping up a cucumber. I'm making a super summery spring little salad side dish to have with the salmon. I feel like it's gonna be absolutely fire. I don't know, I'm just throwing some stuff into a bowl, but I've got hope in this and honestly, it's not really good. So <laughs> now I'm adding in avocado, which is so delicious, an entire avocado. And I feel like it's so easy to just cut it up in the avocado and then use a spoon to scoop it out. That is a life hack. If you're not already doing that, you should do it. And I'm adding about half a can of the corn. Honestly, I might've added the entire can, I'm not sure. And a huge spoonful of salsa and a ton of feta cheese. And to be honest, I was absolutely shocked how freaking good this was, you guys. You guys, I'm not kidding. This is actually so freaking good. I was putting it together and I'm like, this is looking a little bit sketchy. Some of these ingredients, I was like, would this all taste good together? It tastes so good. I can just eat this by itself. It is so refreshing. I'm so happy. Ah! Salmon is in the oven, should be out soon. And then finally we'll get to eat, but I'm gonna like probably eat almost half of this before it even comes out. I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna get you. <laughs> Yeah. 
<laughs> Vinny and I had a quick little play break while the cinnamon was finishing up in the oven. And now I'm just plating everything and gonna enjoy my meal. Honestly, you guys, it's so good together. The salmon and the little summery salad. <laughs> Vinny's just... No. <laughs> ah! Are you ready for nap? No, no. Nappy? No, nappy, nappy. No, nappy? No, we no, 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 no. Yeah, it's time for nappy. Today's post-workout meal is going to be a snack plate. This is one of my favorite things. And if I don't have it as a post-workout, I honestly will have this as a normal lunch. I love to have this honestly almost every single day. And what's cool about this is it's totally customizable. So you can add what you want. I love to have a couple handfuls of pretzel crisps. I'm obsessed with those. I love to have an apple cut up, a couple pieces of cheese. And then I also love to add cucumber and tuna bites. It's so delicious. I just mix in some mayo, sriracha, salt, pepper, some sesame seeds, green onion if I have it, and then top it on top of a cucumber. This is so refreshing and absolutely delicious. One of my all time favorite snacks. I just want it to stop because I miss you so much. I miss the way we touch. You guys, I don't know what it is about these pretzel thins, these like pretzel crisps. They're so addicting to me. They're so delicious. I love eating them with cheese. If this is like my favorite snack. If I don't have this after a workout, this is what I eat at the end of the day. Like when I watch a show sometimes, I love it so much. So good. I know tuna can be a hit or miss, but honestly, I love having tuna with mayo, even a little bit of sriracha if you want. Sesame seeds, if you add green onions, that makes it even better. And putting it on a cucumber, it is so fresh and so delicious. I love it. It's one of my favorites. I've been making that for years and um, I just love this whole little snack plate combo. And honestly, Honeycrisp apples are the best apple. Are they not? Name a better apple because you can't. See ya the next day for another meal. Mm. The last meal of this video is going to be leftovers, which is a very common post-workout meal. A while back, I knew I wasn't getting in enough protein for the goals that I personally wanted to reach. So a way that helped me increase my protein was when I would make dinner, I would make enough for the next day's lunch as well. So I cook one time and just try to make a little bit extra. That way I can have something for the next day. That has been a game changer for me because I can guarantee myself a really good substantial lunch when I do that. I've got good protein, carb, veggie. It is so easy for me and it's really realistic. Also, if you haven't had ground turkey with sweet potatoes, you are sleeping. It is such a good combo and Darian made these green beans last night. And of course I just said, hey, make a little bit extra so we can have a lunch for tomorrow. Okay, post-workout meal. Just heated up leftovers. So ground turkey with a little bit of onion and seasoning, green beans and sweet potatoes. Yummy, delicious, quick, easy, and it's leftovers. So we love it. Okay, you guys, so if you're watching this video, you're seeing there were six recipes. So this turned out to be more of what I eat in a week and a half post-workout meal edition because I honestly only work out four days a week, sometimes five if I'm lucky, but really it's a true four days a week and there are six recipes in this. I didn't want you to think that I work out six days a week because that is not true, but I did want to include just a few more recipes. That way I'm not just leaving you with four recipes. I wanted to kind of make it six. So this is more of a week and a half of post-workout meals. So I still hope you enjoyed that. I do want to say that all of these recipes and more are going to be uploaded somewhere special coming soon. I was supposed to have an idea of what said mysterious thing is gonna look like but i'm close enough where i don't mind mentioning it on youtube uh hopefully more details and behind the scenes of this project is going to be announced later on in the week we're hoping today monday i am supposed to have more updates i was supposed to get them last friday and have a big announcement over the weekend but 
things were pushed back to Monday. So I'm hoping Monday I can kind of get some finalized answers and start letting you guys kind of know what's coming. But more recipes and a lot more things are coming to you soon. So stay tuned. I am so excited to share. I hope you guys are excited. I'm like nervous, but I'm excited, but I'm like, uh, I don't know. So that was like a pterodactyl noise. I don't know what that was. The recipes are down in the description box so that you can kind of screenshot and make a grocery list for yourself. Again, I hope you liked this video. If you did, you better give it a big thumbs up. You better subscribe to my channel and comment down below what recipe you want to try. I am always happy if you like this video, do more videos like this. Let me know. And with that being said, oh, I should do a gym shark haul because like this is new. Okay, we got videos coming. We got videos coming. I'm so sorry I skipped last week. Forgive me. I just, I need help. I need help. Okay, bye. I love you.